All right, let's go over some stuff on this grow wide inverter right here. There's a 48 volt battery in there. 48 volt battery, 16 Chempex in series, okay? Right now it's using the grid because there's no sun outside. No sun outside, so it's connected to the grid. The battery is fully charged, otherwise this will be blinking. So the battery is fully charged. So this right here for right now, I just have the lights on, okay? So during the day, during the day, uh, let's see where we are here. The low. It was using about 1.2 to 3 watts with the sun out. Now the sun went down, I was out, and I left it this let it connected. Look at this high. So when the sun went in, it had to charge the battery. So it kicked in the high gear, and the high is 1900 watts. 1900 watts. And I'm sure that this kicked in and the inverter kicked in to charge the battery. But that is insane. 1900 watts for the girl watt inverter. What it's using right now is 200, 263 watts that this is using right now. So in my eyes, in my eyes, unless you had a whole thing of batteries hooked up, completely charged, uh, that's a lot of wattage for this to be running overnight when the sun is not out. Now when the sun is out, it makes sense to have it on. Because then my lights will be going off with the solar right here and the battery. But when the sun goes in, to me right now, it is not making any sense for me to have this plugged in right now. When it's pulling 297 watts right now. Let me see if I can put the BMS on. Okay, it's going to come to the BMS right here in here. Oh, so it is, it is charging the battery right now. I thought that was going to be blinking when it was charged the battery. It says full charged. But, okay, uh, it says right now there's uh, two amps going into the battery. Battery is 100% charged. I believe it's still charging the battery. Or, you know what? It's using the battery right now. It's using the battery. I'm trying to figure this out right here. Because this right here, the sum volt, should be 56. This battery fully charged is 56 volts. Now 54 per one. So this is on right now. And that's what's using the wattage to charge the battery. So it is charging the battery right now. Because what happens is this right here is on so when it's getting sun it'll use the battery first it'll use the sun but then use the battery and it'll go back and forth between the sun and the battery before it uses connects to the grid now the sun is out so it's just constantly connected to the grid but right now it is using grid power to charge this back up right here so i've been leaving this on overnight to try to see where i was at and i almost fell out when i seen the high was 1964 watts i gotta try to find out what cycle it's in to pull almost 2000 watts because at nighttime this pulling 2000 watts is not making sense to me you know what i'm gonna do it's pulling 235 watts right now i'm gonna unplug this right here when i unplug the lights this is the cord to the lights right now so i'm gonna unplug that so i unplug the lights now this is this alone this alone is charging the battery and it's using 145 watts Let's see 145 watts for that to be on right there Let's see what this says right here so yeah it's like trickle charging the battery right now it's at 54 one but I, like I said, the battery got to get up to 56. Even though it says it's 100% charged, it goes all the way up to 56 volt, volts. And I know that. So with this green being balanced right here, it's saying that it's balancing the batteries right now as it's charging. So it's went down to uh, 143 watts with this on right now. Trickle charging the battery.
Okay, so check this out. Sunshine out right now. It's using panels and the grid to charge the battery. Panels and the grid to charge the battery. Let me make sure you this. Right now, it's using 122, what's that, 122 volts, but it's one, using 1 1.5 amps. The low has been a point for watts, but check this out. The high, 2,000 watts, 2,000 watts. Right now, it's only using 87 watts, okay? So overnight, when the battery go drains, this thing really ramps up the power to get that battery charged up. So, but it's using the grid and the panels to charge the battery. But right now, I'm going to switch it and shut it off because we're going out. So I just kind of have this on when we're here, but I have my lights on over my tanks. I got my lights on and a heater on it right now. So on average, it uses about 340 watts. And I got 400 watt panels. So this is only supplementing a little bit, but I got the huge panels over there that are going on next. 